Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Zosha. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I like to warp text in Photoshop. I'm gonna go over two different techniques that I like to use. The first is pretty simple, just using the liquify tool. And the second one is a little bit more complex using displacement maps. I'll mark it in the timeline if you wanna jump ahead to the second technique. I've been seeing a lot of warped type in designs these days. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this yourself. And it's a pretty easy way to customize your type. Okay, so I have a Photoshop file with a layer of text here, and I always like to do non-destructive editing when possible, so I'm going to first right-click on my text and convert to Smart Object. The first way I'm going to show you is just using the Liquify tool. So go up to Filter and Liquify. So here you can just use this first brush up here and warp your text. You can change the size of the brush and the pressure, so if you want to be more subtle, bring the pressure down. And then to undo everything, go down here to restore all. So let's distort this a bunch. And then you can use this second brush here, which is the reconstruct tool, which will slowly bring it back to its original form, which is cool if you want it to just be a little bit more legible. Now I'll show you the third brush here, which is a smooth tool. So let's again, warp this up a bunch. And then I can take the smooth brush and it will smooth out a bit, similar to the reconstruct brush. I also like to use this brush here, which is the twirl brush. And that just twirls it like that. Pretty self-explanatory. And then there is the pucker tool, which will suck it in like that. And the opposite, which is the bloat tool right below it, which obviously bloats it. If you want some of the text to not be warped, you can use this brush here, the freeze mask tool and paint whatever you don't want to be warped and then use a normal brush and warp the rest of it. That, and then can uncheck this show mask to see what it looks like. Right below it is the thaw mask or the eraser. So that's one way to warp your text just using Liquify. Now I'm gonna jump into using displacement maps. The first thing to do is create a new Photoshop file that's the same dimensions as this one. And I'm going to create a new layer and then using a black brush, just create a shape. It doesn't matter what it looks like because we're going to now use Liquify to distort this black shape. So go up to Filter and Liquify. Now just warp this shape however you want. Okay, we'll start with that. Press OK. Now I'm going to save this file as displacement map. Okay. Now go back to the original text file and with the text layer selected, go up to filter, distort and displace. And okay. Then select the displacement map. The default Displacement is very subtle, so let's double click on the displace filter over here and change these values to 100 just to really exaggerate it. And then same file. Then you can really start to see how it can displace it. One thing I like to add to the displacement map is some grain or noise. So I'm going to go to this displacement file and I'm gonna put the grain on its own layer so that I can continue to edit the black layer underneath without affecting the grain. 
So I'm going to add new layer and choose a color 808080. Fill, right click, convert to smart object, and then change the blend mode to overlay. And go up to filter, noise, add noise. And we'll start with just, let's see, 20. 20 is good. Save that file and then go back to our text file and double click on displace. Okay. And then you have to reload the file. Now you can see that there is some grain visible in the displacement. So that's how you set up the displacement map and you can continue to edit your black shape in your displacement map to try different looks. So I'm going to click on the black layer and go back into liquify and try creating a different shape in here. save and then reload it over here and let's say you wanted it to just warp vertically not horizontally then you can change the horizontal value to zero and it will only affect it vertically thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos from me and i'll see you in the next one